Okay, welcome back to the CS350 debugging tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to more effectively use uh, CS350 GDB for this course. So one of the first things that I want to talk about is setting a shortcut. So one thing that you had to do when you fired up GDB before is include the staging files of uh, your currently, compiling cr com currently compiled kernel. So to do this, what you did is executed the dir uh, dot dot slash os161 etc command. Now this can get really tedious and it's long and kind of annoying. So instead, what you want to do, or what I like to do, is to set up a shortcut like so in the current folder. Um, simply set up a, sh a shortcut to dot slash os161 uh, slash current compile in the current folder. So if you look now, you have a shortcut called compile, and in there will be all the folders for your staging files. So now you don't have to type in this long command, you can just uh, type in dir compile ast and then the assignment number that you're trying to, try to debug. That's number one. Uh, another step, uh, which I find very useful, is to automate the actual connection process for GDB. So to do this, what we want to do is uh, create a file called uh, GDB init, and I've already done this. GDB init. Um, what this file does is whenever CS350 GDB gets executed, it will look in the current folder where you're executing uh, GDB from, it will look to see if this file exists. If this file exists, the first thing it will do is execute all the commands specified in this file. So what we can do is we can place um, the dir and the target line into this file to have it automatically execute when GDB gets fired up. So the things you want to add are the dir command and in my case I have added the shortcut so I can just write compile ast0 and then the target command target remote unix.sockets slash gdb. Okay, save the file. Now we want to start up again a copy of sys161. I gotta fix my path. Sys161 uh, with the debugging option. So now there it is waiting again. And then we fire up CS350 GDB with the kernel. Now when I executed this time, what you notice is that instead of waiting well, it's still waiting, but instead of uh, not connecting and not doing the stuff, uh, not including the object files, it already did this step and connected directly to our instance. So this is a way to just speed things up. Another useful command, which you should definitely have a look at, is when you're in GDB, the help command. So I've shown you a couple of uh, commands that you can use, but there is a ton more. So what you want to do is execute help, which will give you some broad categories of possible commands that you might want, might be interested in. So let's have a look at the breakpoints. I can type help, breakpoints, which is a subsection in help, and it shows me all the available commands that are related to setting breakpoints. So, for example, let's have a look at the Let's have a look at the watch command. So it says on the very bottom, the last command is set a watch point for an expression. Now, what does that mean? Well, we can get some more information if we type help watch, and we get um, the exact information of the command. Okay. Other useful information. Let's disconnect here and reset all this part. Other useful information when using GDB, make sure that whenever you compile a new kernel or you've changed assignments, that you change, if you're using my GDB init trick, that you change this argument here. Otherwise, you'll be using the wrong files, the wrong staging files for your kernel. So this is a very important step. 